Dear learners of the BBA program, we are going to discuss the unit 6 that is on stuffing of your first uh, semester paper, Principles of Management and Organizational Behavior. <coughs> the stuffing unit I shall discuss in three parts of videos and uh, these three parts of videos will be based on the learning objectives and my presentation will be based on the self-learning material that you are going through and I hope that after going through these videos you will be able to understand the concepts better and learn more. <coughs> so in this part we shall take the learning objectives. First we shall take that what is the concept of staffing. We know about planning, organizing, hmm, staffing, leading, controlling. It's a managerial function. What is the concept of staffing that we shall discuss? And in the first part, we shall also discuss the importance of staffing. So these are the two learning objectives that we have. And we shall address these two learning objectives in the coming few minutes. And we shall see whether we have been able to learn these two concepts or not. That meaning of staffing, concept of staffing, and importance of staffing. So concept of staffing, you see, we talk about management as what? It is the art of getting things done through people. Means what? Through staff. So it's all about man management, it's not it, people management. The performance of an organization largely depends on the staffing function. What kind of persons an organization has? How motivated they are? Where from they were recruited? How they were selected? What kind of training has been given? Whether the desiring people were given promotions or not? Their compensation? Their appraisal? So people management largely determines the functioning of an organization. So this itself is sufficient enough for you to understand the importance of staffing as a managerial function. Here we shall take one definition. Right? In your SLM, there are a number of definitions. Indicative one, I shall just take up. What is staffing? What Heyman has stated about staffing. How has he defined staffing? Staffing pertains to the recruitment, selection, development, training, and compensation of subordinate managers. We can add to Heyman's definition subordinate people, subordinates. It might include the other employees also, the non managerial employees. But we need to be clear about the other essence of his definition. Staffing pertains to what? You see, you observe it closely. Recruitment, then selection. In our day-to-day -day conversation, we talk about recruitment and selection in almost in an interchangeable manner. As if recruitment is selection, selection is recruitment. But as far as staffing is concerned, recruitment and selection are two different functions. Recruitment is a prior step before selection. Releasing the advertisement, <coughs> receiving the applications. Selection would be conducting the test, interview and then select. Recruitment that's why is a prior step before selection. After selection, people need to be oriented, they need to be developed, they need to be given training, they need to be given compensation, is not it? That is also a function of staffing. So staffing involves all these functions. How well the people are recruited, how well people are trained, selected, motivated, developed, all these things will lead to the efficiency of staffing function. That's why concept of staffing is very, very important. What is the process of staffing? Estimating manpower requirement, keeping in view the present and future needs of the organization. So staffing is closely related with manpower planning. What could be the future requirements of managers 
and the other employees in an organization. This is based on the overall corporate objectives. So staffing function takes care of that requirement. It takes care of the demand of manpower. It takes care of the supply of manpower. So identifying the sources of supply, where from we shall get those manpower? Shall we go for recruitment from the engineering colleges, management institutes, polytechnics, or shall we go for training our own internal employees? Selecting the right number and quality of personnel. There is a saying that finding out the right person at the right time, at the right place, at the right job, staffing is highly demanding. Getting the right person at the right place, at the right time, at the right job, you see how difficult it would be. And that is the challenge of staffing. Assigning the right jobs to the right persons, chosen by the management. And then they need to be oriented to their jobs and to their work environment. They need to be trained so that they can improve their knowledge, skill, and they can contribute to the functioning of the organization. So staffing is very important, is not it? Staffing helps in performance of other functions. Suppose marketing is a function. The efficiency of marketing will depend upon what kind of marketing people you are having. The production function, the function of production will depend upon what kind of persons we are having. So staffing will determine the efficiency of other functions. Like other functions means controlling also. Staffing will determine who will plan, who will control. If we are having the right kind of persons to plan, right kind of persons to control, the planning function will be facilitated. Effective use of non-human resources. People will need, suppose a computer, computer is a non-human resource. So if the persons are trained better in computer, so the non-human resources also will be utilized better. Effective utilization of human resources, highly, and all other resources depreciate. Human resources are the only resource which appreciates. Staffing helps us in achieving the organizational objectives. Staffing will help us in achieving the economy because it takes care of maximizing the output effectiveness of the current employees and at the same time being concerned about resource utilization also. Because of good quality staffing, there is lesser amount of attrition. Attrition means people living in the organization. People are retained. Retention rate goes high if staffing function is carried out well. So with retained people, we can retain the knowledge and skill also. And we can have better human relations, cordial HRD climate, union management, better relationships. That is what we call by industrial relations. So dear learners, staffing is an important managerial function. We shall discuss about the other two learning objectives in part two of this module. Thank you.